name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today uh, someone just sent me a picture which is, it, it, it's funny, but it's not funny if you're on the bike. So uh, this guy snapped this picture, I don't think it's his bike, and I don't know where he was. Um, looks like he's at the NEC, that kind of thing, like a bike show or something, or maybe it's just at a garage. Um, and what I wanted to do this video on about was, if you want to go and get things done, like if you want to go and get machining, maybe on your engine, you know, get reboard and plated, stuff like that. Please, please, please do your research. And what I mean is just find out more about this company, how long they've been in business for, um, ask around, stuff like that, because there are loads of bandit bastards. There are bandit machinists. There are bandit garages. There are bandit this, that, and the other. They're fucking everywhere. Any road, so... Here's the picture, um, and it didn't fit. Obviously, you've got the wrong one, but no, no, fuck that. What we'll do is we'll machine your wheel. Now, on first glance, you go, oh, look, someone's had it powder coated or painted or whatever, and then they've machined it afterwards, bit of a dumb move. Then after that, uh, you know, but nah, shit happens, it's Ali, you'll get away with it. But you can also see that it's basically breached across the holes, so the, the machining has gone through these holes, which means that if you have a ledge that's like this, you know, with a hole in it, like that kind of thing, if you go to put a bolt on this or a washer, you know, and this is basically like this, and you've cut through the hole like this, if you go to put a washer on top of that, and then put a bolt on top of that, you know what I mean, like this, but it's going to rock, you know, it's going to rock until it's just fucking shocking but that's not the worst bit <laughs> fuck me so if the guy took a picture because he oh for fuck's sake the, when it's cold the board is a knob but um you're a fucking knob but, oh, fucking hell. oil when you uh, look at the side of it it's um absolutely terrible <laughs> It's fucking tapered. <laughs> oh shit. The shit people do. Um, so basically, oh for fuck's sake. Piss off. New pens. I need new pens. Amazon list. Instead of it being a nice 90 degree perpendicular shoulder like that. No, 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 no. They've fucking tapered it in like that. Oh for fuck's sake. You know what I mean? Exactly like that. It's like, oh. So, just because someone has a machine, and uh, the old D-Man is an excellent example of that, um, you know, it's like, put it this way, and we'll use the D-Man as an example, since I haven't taken the piss out of him in ages. If you're going to do that, the sprocket is a hell of a lot cheaper than the wheel, right? The wheels cost a fucking fortune if you're going to get them new, and even second hand, you don't want to be going through all that rubbish. And you've just painted it, and you've just done this, and you've just done that. So, when you come across to do that... Now, I don't know that this is a machine shop that did this. I'm just saying, beware of... There are people who don't know what the fucking hell they're doing. Um, and I see loads of people send me emails, loads of people send me pictures and stuff of... They took their thing to this garage. There was a guy who sent me a message recently, and... The guy rebuilt the engine, this garage rebuilt the engine, and they put the pistons in backwards... I think it was a, a Fizzy or it was an R1 or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, so many messages, and I do apologise. Dripping with autism. Right. But yeah, so you've reversed everything, and the problem is, is that these, these engines are semi-interference engines. Well, they are interference engines. And we'll go into that and why you do that and so on. Um, but basically now what's happening is is that the reliefs that are cut into the piston crowns I'll do I'll put a picture up these reliefs here uh, they're designed so when the valve opens it's for two reasons it's one so the valve doesn't actually clap the piston it's also to make sure that the the plane of the piston where the air goes around the valve is there isn't some weird void so let's just say you had a valve that opened like this right it's coming in at an angle 
if you have a piston that's flat bottomed you can see that there's this wedge here and as the air goes round the valve as it begins to go around the valve on this side there's not much wiggle room on here there's a massive void so you get a lot more flow over the top of the valve than you do the bottom which means that the velocity is changed because you start getting roll and tumble and all sorts of shite and a lot of the time that is just not um, what you want so for fuck's sake this stuff smells like cherry <laughs> um, so what you, what you try and do is you kind of just say this is your piston skirt you then have um, which way we should be going, should be coming this way. So you have a relief here. Get rid of that bit. You have a relief here, and then you have the rest of the piston like this. And when you do that, it's not only just making room for the for the valve, you know, it's you've got air coming in here, and again, there isn't this massive void and wedge that doesn't cause this weird turbulence behind the valve tip and lip and then you've got different velocities and ah, it all turns to shit. So, it's for, you know, it's not just, because some engines actually don't, um, they're not interference engines, they actually come all the way just down to here, they don't actually touch and there's a tiny little valve relief. Um, so yeah, it just helps with flow stability and so on and so on and so on. I'll, uh, that's an entire different... Fucking hell. Regular, behave yourself. That's an entire different video that we have to basically look in more detail. Um, because some engines actually do different things. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so this guy put the fucking pistons in the wrong way around. So obviously these... Um, oh, fuck it. These basically... These reliefs are wrong. If you've got four valves and four valves, well, the valves are different sizes, so they're going to clap the sides. If you've got uh, a Genesis engine, so you've got three valves and then two, if you switch that around, you've got three reliefs for two valves, so nothing lines up. They clap, the valve breaks, and the fucking head comes off, and then, you know, it's poly a dolly and its head popped off. just turns to complete shit, and your engine just turns into a valve-eating monster. And it just causes all sorts of trash and problems. Um... The other thing is, is as well, is that people when they do some people when they do machining and stuff, they seem to go the long ass way around for the sake of machining. Now, if you go to any kind of machine shop who is churning out work, these guys usually don't have any time because they're fucking backlogging like a bastard. Because machine shops are becoming less and less and less prevalent, and basically there's just too much work for one guy to do, kind of thing. Um, like when the bollocks did those. That, that them um, the rectifier mounting. He basically made this. There's a look. Fucking hell. There's a relief, and then he put a thread in the back here, like that. <laughs>
Right, there we are. That's it. Another day done. Six hours on the lathe. All right. Well, number one is the diameter. This is massive. This is really long, skinny, and aluminium. Shockingly rubbish. Took ages to turn these. Took ages to turn this thread with a die. I don't like dies, especially shit ones. Carbon fucking carbon steel dies from eBay. Ugh! And screw fix the cunts. <laughs> and then tap this hole. Just fucking gash. Just cut all this out. Right, so you just do that. That's all you do. It just uh, and like I say, a journeyman machine uh, machinist, he'd just do that. He'd just make these fucking spaces like this. Fuck that off. Fuck doing this and just a, um, a clearance hole all the way through. And then you just use the just get extra bolts that go all the way through. One the steel, two the the right length. Number three is you don't have to fuck around. And number four is they're fucking if they fall, they snap. See you later. This is a sort of clink. Just, you know, just fuck off in there, see you later, snap off, and it's just a rattly piece of shit now. But it's the time. That's what a machine is. A machinist would look at that and go, I ain't doing that, if you asked him to. Well, if you really want me to, but it's going to cost you. But, they, you know, left to their own devices, they probably should. <laughs> but uh, left to their own devices, they would just not, but they wouldn't do that. A machinist wouldn't do that. It just makes spaces. Um, because it's easier and cheaper. And better -er and stronger -er and super slippy. This fucking board isn't super slippy though, you bastard! Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get high off this shit. Um, but yeah, just be aware that just because they have a lathe or just because they look like they've got a garage and stuff like that, get them to tell you, you know, because then wheels, the bolt pattern's now fucked up because you've now got this half ledge. The wheel's now fucking been machined into your weak. You, you, I don't need to do an analysis on that to look at that and go, yeah, that's fucking dog shit. And now it's tapered back. Now that is not, for, no one can argue that that's for a reason. You've actually made the cross section of that hub that sticks out even thinner. You know, usually these things have a slight radius on there to stress relieve and stuff like that to distribute the stress over a, a, a hemisphere, you know, or part of, of a radius. We'll get into all that with fillets and stuff like that for crankshafts and so on. But yeah, just just be aware. And you know, people say, "Oh, I went to this garage and he, he did a great job or whatever." And then you say to him, "But what did he do?" "Oh, do 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 replace my tire. It was fucking really quick, really cheap." Yeah, well, I'm talking about having my fucking head read. You know, it's just I'm not saying that they're all bandits. I'm saying just be wary and try and find out what they're doing. A very good eye, a, a very good inkling, or to give you an, a sense of something, is when you go in. If you see three or four engines stripped apart, and they're doing work on them, and there's one nearly finished, and there's one this. Obviously, people are coming back, or pe there's a lot of custom for that particular work. The funniest thing is the amount of work that you have to go through to stick that wheel in a fucking chuck. We're talking a big fucking lathe. We're not talking anything tiny. Or maybe, I doubt it, rotary table on a milling machine. But regardless, well, no, you won't be able to get a fucking taper on it like that. That's definitely a lathe job. But just because someone has the tools doesn't mean they know what they're fucking doing with them. cost you very dearly that could crack and your sprockets wrong what i don't understand is instead of chucking that great big fucking wheel in get a fucking sprocket or a brake disc it might be a brake disc i i, I this was sent to me a while ago and i'm just going off i've just looked at the picture quickly um even if it's a brake disc or something like that i wouldn't machine a brake disc but if you've got a sprocket and the hole's just too small just machine out the inside of that if it all goes tits up it's a sprocket and get the right one <laughs> eh. Maybe they were trying to fit something that didn't fit on that wheel originally. Well, then you should get your old patterns and your fucking, you know, your inner diameter of your relief hole in the middle correct to the bore. <sighs> There's loads of this shit. It's absolutely fucking everywhere. Hope that makes sense. I'll see. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.